Hey guys, my name is Micro, and welcome to Valhalla. I always mess that up, but uh, this is a game that runs like Papers, Please, only you don't have to be mean to people, I don't think. But you are a bartender that attracts the weirdest people, or the best people, maybe, uh, to share stories and all that. Th th that's what they do at the bar, and as long as I keep serving them drinks, they're gonna stay there. I guess I give them drinks, they give me stories. So, uh, I, I thought this game was really cool, and the trailer, the this kind of music, the bla the Ballad of a Gay Ghost, is that the name of the song? Um, it, it kind of reminded me of Earthbound a little bit? I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, and it's going away. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> and this game has gotten, like, overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which is really, really good. It is said that, like, everything is relevant to the game, like, it doesn't get boring at all. So I really want to see what's what's gonna happen, and uh, let's, let's get into the good. Uh, new game. Okay. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. Um... Well, th I already had, like, a bowl of cereal to begin. Um, I'm not really hungry right now. I, I have these almost empty water bottles. Uh, <laughs> how about you guys grab snacks? And you, you guys enjoy. I don't know how long this will be. Maybe 20 minutes, maybe? I don't know. So sit back and relax. Oh, pff, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> we hope you have a good time. Okay. God. Hey, over here. On the TV. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Well, actually, it's pretty cool because I I was watching TV. Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting, and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. <laughs> I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But it's fine. <laughs> but remember, life is 90% of how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. And what's the other 10%? I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. I have a parcel? Where? Give it to me. Give it to me, woman. Where are you hiding it? If it's small, you could hide it anywhere. See ya! Okay. Bye! Mmm! Oh, just a dream. Hmm, there's something near the door. <gasps> the parcel! Chapter 1, Primera. Okay. <laughs> What's in my parcel? Your membership to Shining Finger <laughs> will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 in by then. Make sure to leave. Uh, make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Click to dismiss this message. Okay. Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. Should I go to work? No. <laughs> what can, What bad things can happen on a Tuesday? Hold to unlock. Oh, I have a phone! Uh, let's go to music. Okay, everything? Oops. So let's play question mark. Oh, I love question mark. Huh? Oh, I love that. I can just play music. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Huh? <sighs> okay. <laughs> let's go to work. So who was that letter from? Nobody. Okay, let's go to work. December 13th. That's a little bit away. <laughs> uh, I, I remember... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, I remember I was playing Mother 3 and one of the soundtracks that I use for vlogs a lot, that like that was... Like that was really cool to see like you could actually just listen to the soundtrack inside the game. Good evening. Ah, yeah. oh, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. Okay, so that's John. Okay, I'm Jill. Okay. When will you admit you have a John face, Jill? When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. <laughs> Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? 
Dunno. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something. Yes, that you look dis very distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. Jukebox! Can things calm down a bit? Thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent on the 30th, which is always stressful. And... Ah. <laughs> There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago, I found out that the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. Shaken up. Like a drink. <laughs> On top of that, Neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss Ren again. Oh no. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment, and I'm not actually telling, uh, Gillian. I'm not actually telling him all this stuff. They're, they're in brackets, right? Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Oh, okay. Nice goatee. I like your goatee. And your eyes. I like and your hair. I like hair too. <laughs> if you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. Okay. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like madly. Drag, drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Jill. Gillian. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Gil! I know! <laughs> Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it, and it'll be all. That'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, then you'll need to press the reset button and try again. What if the person likes a drink messed up? That that'll that messed up drink will represent what I'm going through right now. You can press reset at any time, even when the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Okay, just. Bill, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Bullshit touching criteria? <laughs> then this should be no problem. Huh. She wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press. Th oh, okay. I, I thought she was freaking out there. Let's just go by name. Uh, S. Sugar rush. Sunshine cloud? I want a sunshine cloud. I also like. like. Like clever names for stuff, or just like imaginative names, like like Sugar Rush. You know what song should be playing? Sugar Rush by Nano B. It's a really good song. Yeah, what's a what's a piano man? Is a two Adelaide, three Bronson Extract, five Power Delta, five Flander Guide, and three Carmatrine. <laughs> this drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianist Union or its associates. Sour Promo Strong. Okay, uh, let's make that then. One. Two, how many Bronsons? One, two, three, five power delta. Two, three, four, five. How many Flander -dur -dur One, two, three, four, <laughs> and three Comatron. One, two, three, Max! That was disappointing. Uh. Fuck! <laughs> is that what I'm saying? Why do you think of that? Oh, is it messy? Oh, sir. Uh, uh. Can I serve? <laughs> Can I just be like SpongeBob with the Krabby Patties, just just flying out the window? Bridget, I just want to try again. Damn it! One, two. Oh, I think I only put two Adelaide in. Uh, pff, numbers mess me up. Well, that's a piano woman! That's why I. Mm. Can I just click on these? One, two. One, two, three. Five. 
Uh, duh, blue, blah, blah. One, two, three. <gasps> Stop! Serve! It looks the same every time! What are the question marks? What the f the f What am I messing up? Okay, let's pretend I'm in pause mode. Okay, th there's no timer or anything. Let's just look at the- uh, all the drinks. Bad touch. Oh, wanna, didn't want to touch that. A bleeding Jane. Are these named after people? <laughs> I took the blood from my from my ex-girlfriend and put it in a drink. Brantini? Yeah, no one's gonna steal that name. A gut punch! <laughs> a grizzly temple. <laughs> okay, let's make... Okay, sugar rush. Reset. A... Optional Kamatrine. Just add all the Kamatrine. <laughs> Also, I don't know how to say those names. Let's add one. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yay! <laughs> Do I ha Does it have to bob back and forth four times? Dab, click. Here, happy now? Or is that just what I had to make? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Um, okay. <laughs> I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it over the five seconds. For over five seconds. You can tell it's been blended but the shaker starts moving faster. It never moved faster. But it was just a mess. It was just like little sparks. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Okay, you will get a moon blast. Six. One, two, three, four. Six. One power delta. No Bronson. Okay. One and two. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. What are the. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, I'm probably not doing this right! Oh, ugly! Go away! <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! Ah, ice doesn't make it better. <laughs> okay, reset. I'm bad at this. Da, da. It's like a boss battle's going on. Yeah, <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two. Max done! Nope. <laughs> Whoa! I can't! Age! Top, 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 tick tock, tick tock, tick tock! Will you change? It's loud! <laughs> oh, okay. Yes! Yeah! Okay, I forgot to add in the ice. Whoopsies. Oh, it looks like you're drinking lipstick. <laughs> okay, whatever you want. I guess that's what you want. Okay. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? It only took me <laughs> ten minutes. Did that say Kerwin? Oh, okay. Because my, my my friend's last name is Kerwin. Huh? Huh? You did. Sorry to hold you. What? You were holding me while I was while I was making the drink. Well, that's why I was distracted. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before I forget. Hmm. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. But they want it bigger. More. 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 Oh, and if a recipe says optional Karmatron, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. <laughs> okay, optional means none. <laughs> Doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Karmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. Oh, okay. I'm high five. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. <laughs> Are you done with the exposition? <laughs> now I am, yeah. Hey, guys! <laughs> Just behind the shoulder. There. Oh, but... Eh... Uh... Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her out here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. <laughs> yeah. 
She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bath. Um, come again? <laughs> while you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Jill, you've known me for how- Oh, Gil! Oh, it's Gillian. I've said it the wrong way. Sorry. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Do I look like what kind- Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? You are the cleaning stuff! Your hands! Here. Aw. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. <laughs> Fine. Yay! We get to meet new people. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. Thank you! This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what's with the logic behind that decision. I need to choose the songs, like as I'm making the drinks. Oh, okay. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> you can remove them. The right. Oh, okay. I just have a a, a song about that. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome! Like, I'm actually, like, picking songs that, are, like, I think that are playing while I'm making the drinks. That's awesome. Add all systems go. Where do I go from here? Will you remember me? Everything will be okay. March to the White Knight. Irene. Okay, sure. God. <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you. Give me a beer. Oh, sure. Right on it. Or, no, I'm not sitting on it, but okay. Okay. Beer coming right up. Okay. One out of lie. Two parts of distract. One powder delta. Two flat with bachelors. <laughs> what? Two, three, four. Mix. Wait. Should it? Oh. This one the brewed beer has come a luxury. This one's pretty close to the real deal. Who wants a beer? Looks like... Like, quite the big guy, though. Though? Does he want double? <laughs> he will be hammered. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No! Please, don't go, please. Yeah! Beer! Okay. Yeah. Aw, oh, looks so pretty, sir. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. I knew! I knew he was gonna... Yeah, he has a mustache. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Beer wasn't good enough. Fine. Oh, you're gonna... You're gonna get it. <laughs> Mix. And serve. <laughs> How about this one? And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Ah, yes. Now, this one's fit for a man like me. Good. Right. <laughs> You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like me. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? Donovan. You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. Music's fading out. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of horny shit- uh, <laughs> Corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. You're good at rhyming, too. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars, and houses, 
and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Why does your missus need plastic surgery? Oh, for... oh. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just the write-up about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or... Copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily without uh, daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rat un Alice underscore Rabbit. Maybe because it's Easter soon. Why do I keep saying that in videos? It's not. It's very far away. Well, first of all, I don't write it about it. My interns do. Mm -hmm. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on the topic while it's popular. Oh yes, the trend train. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always... Is he getting mad at me? Stop saying stuff that making him, him upset. I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I want that to be the end of my day. <laughs> I always... I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. Donovan. Oh... You're smarter than you look, kid. <gasps> but if you're if more people will like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, so basically he's saying that I'm not interested in what he's writing. <laughs> Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dis 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 people get bored of a certain kind of news. <laughs> he's trying to say what us popular kids say, I think. Certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly one- Okay, change the song. Sorry, uh, I'm not responding to you, I'm just changing the music for a second. Who was I? Okay. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. <laughs> Death's not enough, they need to fill a sob story behind it. Yeah, well, most people don't really read the newspaper anymore. That's why I like to learn, uh, like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. It gets you nice stuff. I remember. <laughs> huh, I guess he has a point. It <laughs> just looks away for a second. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might uh, they might also write about how everyone else... What? <laughs> they might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of the clicks come from the them, so they get all the diva-like on my ass. <laughs> I think you're being too harsh. What about? No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique col column. Um, uh, shit. I forgot that brat's name. Maybe because you call him a brat. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. <laughs> However, he still insists that I keep paying him for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm, I'm like talking to him and he's telling me a story and I'm just like, how so? Oh, okay, but why? <laughs> he rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by pro proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastards only get laughed at when he says that. Hello, I'm the food critic. I remember it so you don't have to. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one of them? What, or one then? Anyway, all this talk may be thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. You finished it? I didn't even see you drink it. Or... Okay, a beer. I have the beer memorized, question mark. <laughs> Two Adelaide. Four Bronson Straxies. Two Power Dutas. Two Flap, 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 Flap. And eight Karmatrines. 
five, six, seven, eight. Oop. Oh. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, coming right up. Yes. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. <laughs> are you are you talking about penises? Cause that's cause <laughs> What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Uh, I I could have stuttered if you wanted me to. Right. So stop. Many celebrities in this. Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Yes. Uh, Jacksept guy. PewDiePie. Order and Death. Jkirk TV. Oh. Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. Is the name's right up there. Oh, he never turns around. I guess. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constant uh, big boy word rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my be oh. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> Who was that? Nobody important. <laughs> hey, I heard that! Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You could think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. I'd like it if you got out. That would make it better. Charming. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hell-bent on world conquest. <laughs> Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just re uh, realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they could sell quite well. People usually tell me all this stuff because I know I'm just a simple bartender. A person... Uh, personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Alana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway, eventually, the people from the stories would, uh, would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt as a uh, hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like that hearing, I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. <laughs> sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Yeah, you've had too many beers. <laughs> Mr. Donovan! Mr. Donovan! Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or Boss. Like a boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now, that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or their name appear Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in the paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread to them. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink, another one, do you? Ah, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remember to have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but n not alcoholic. Does it have a name? I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Something bitter, big, no alcohol at all. All right. Uh, okay, I'll keep away from that. Aw. Mr. Donovan! Do you want a sunshine cloud? <laughs> Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Aw, do you like old uh, chocolate milk? Bitter, girly, and soft. <laughs> will, will he yell at me if I make this? Oh well. He said no alcohol at all, at all, at all. Chocolate milk coming right up. Yeah. Sun cloud. Here. <laughs> what the? What is this cute bull brat? Do you need glasses? I think our perception of what constitutes big is clearly very different. Uh. Say, kid, does this bar have any investigators? There are investors. He didn't call it a hellhole. <laughs> there was some bloke named Seven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. 
These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to reunion to unions and government and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make someone else do it and they and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found off offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me they needed more clicks. MORE CLICKS! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while they're, while they're still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Okay. Huh. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! To the FACE! I'll show them what happens when I, when I do wh what they want and don't- I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? <laughs> Did he fall? At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Seven though. Seven? We never heard from him again. Jill. Yes? What the hell happened in the bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. <laughs> Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think their short legs would hinder them? The, the ceiling. The, the ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The vents. Shh. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I, I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... <laughs> I've been recording almost an hour, and I only got through one person. <laughs> and, but the that guy's voice did kind of hurt mine. <laughs> and I wanted to, like, kind of be more on the unedited side. So, oh, I, I like that song. Will you remember me? Uh, will you remember me? Do, will that guy remember me two weeks from now? I think I'm gonna end my episode here. Uh, I, I might keep recording. Uh, well, I, I, I wanted to talk to John to Discord, but I only got through one person. But I really like this game. It, it, it kind of drags on, like, the conversation. I mean, like, I guess that's how they make the game, like, last longer, maybe? But I like making the drinks and, like, seeing what they, they, their reactions to my drinks and, like, and how much alcohol they want. And, like, like, Characters like these, like, they're really imaginative. Like, this guy is more imaginative than the other guy. He lo he reminded me of Richard from Friends, so... <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, it was like, I was talking to him for like half an hour, just one person, so... Hopefully you guys don't mind that, because it is a really good game. I, l I like making the drinks and all that, and the, mu and the music. So, if you have watched all the way through, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I, re I really do appreciate it that I can make these long, I can have these unedited longer episodes and you guys can just sit through it and just listen to it while you're me maybe not even paying attention to the whole thing, maybe just doing something and having this playing in the background. Like, that, it, as long as, like, I, I feel like it feels like I'm here for you guys any time of the day, that's, that's, that's what matters. So, uh, wh what drink would you like before I go? Okay, I'll just add a bunch of flange food foosh and uh, and some ice because I think that was the alcohol like the, Or was it the karma trying? I don't know. So thank you all so much for watching share with a friend and I'll hope to see you in the next one So bye for now Rob Row out